السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My respected brothers and sisters There is an evil spreading amongst the Muslims A great evil that many of us are blind to The evil of which I speak is that of the imitation of the kuffar the Prophet وسلم, said in an authentic hadith narrated in Abu Dawood, he said, whoever imitates a people is one of them. We all see it these days. We see it among the youth and even the old people. Not just the brothers, but the sisters as well. You see them changing themselves to be more like the kuffar and to please them. Sometimes they change the way they dress. They want to wear the same clothes and dress in the same styles as actors and basketball players, so on and so forth. You see it in the way they comb and cut their hair. And subhanallah, even sometimes the way that they speak and the way that they move. They try to walk like them. They try to speak like them. Even sometimes you see the women do not wear hijab and men shaving their beards. Who are they trying to look good for? Who are they trying to impress? Is it Allah or is it the enemies of Allah? They want to fit in with the non-believers. The Prophet ﷺ said, whoever imitates a people is one of them. They want to resemble the enemies of Allah. Have they no shame? I warn you, my brothers and sisters, to continue down that path, it will lead you and you will earn nothing except the anger of Allah. And imitation of the kuffar is not just in the way that one dresses and acts. You see it very common these days that Muslims want to resemble them in their celebrations. You see Muslims want to throw birthday parties and celebrate kafir holidays. Even sometimes, a'udhu billah, you see Muslims that want to celebrate Christmas. They celebrate Christmas and Australia Day, this holiday and that holiday. Allah the Most Wise has already given us the two Eids. Are you not happy with what Allah has blessed us with? Are you not content? Even you see, not just in life they want to imitate them, but even after death as well. Even after they are buried, the Muslims are buried and they want to imitate the kuffar. They want to build tombs and gravestones over them. Even when the Prophet وسلم, narrated an authentic hadith in Sahih Muslim, he forbade plastering over graves, sitting on them and building structures over them. Allah the Almighty has elevated the believers and made us superior to the kuffar. Allah in His wisdom has chosen us to be believers. I ask you, have you ever seen a lion imitate a lamb? The same way that a lion will not imitate a lamb, a believer should not imitate a non-believer. For the non-believers will be shamed before Allah. We must be happy and rejoice. We must thank Allah because Allah has bestowed upon us a great honor that we cannot comprehend. He has chosen us to be believers. So why would you want to lower yourself by imitating the enemies of Allah? 
You must not wish to be like them. None of us must wish to be like them. We must not follow them. I swear to you, the path that they follow leads only to the fire. We all must question ourselves. When the day of reckoning comes and all of our deeds are brought forth, do we wish to be amongst the kuffar, amongst the enemies of Allah? Or do we want to be with the righteous servants of Allah? With the men and women who served and sacrificed for Allah? Those who Allah loves and will take care of. Wallahi, if you have any sense in your mind, then you would want to be with the righteous servants of Allah. And if you want to be with them, then we must act as they did. And we must imitate the one that they imitated. We must imitate and we must follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For that is the only path that will lead us to an eternity of enjoyment and pleasure where we are forever in the mercy and love of Allah the Almighty. Do not neglect the sunnah of Rasulullah Even if it is something that we might think to be small and insignificant, Wallahi the reward is great. May Allah guide us and keep us steadfast along the straight path and help us to implement the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.